Now this short section here is just for the interested student. You certainly wouldn't need to be able to explain this in an exam. But I know a number of people come here to Bilborough and say, why should we write in our labels on our axes and tables I slash milliamps and not I brackets milliamps? Well, let me give you the official line on this one here. If we're measuring the value of a property, for example the current, we can say that is made up of two parts. It's made up of a magnitude and it's also made up of a unit. I hope I've tried to emphasize to you that you can't just write down the number without putting the unit on as well. So for example, we could say the current that we're recording is 2.11 milliamps. And that's correct. But when we want to record a lot of data in a table, we don't want to constantly be writing milliamps after every magnitude. So the way that we get around this is to say, well, hang on, what we've done, we've said I is equal to 2.11 multiplied by milliamps. If we divide both sides by milliamps, we'll find on the left-hand side, I in milliamps is equal to 2.11. So if at the top of our table, we've indicated that the magnitudes that are recording in, recorded in that column are I in milliamps, then we can just write down the number and save ourselves some work.